Hello, um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, create a hole on a flat surface. Um, in some number 40 or other 3D software, uh, the simplest way is using Boolean. Okay, it's not if people are using Booleans to create this hole. So if you go to the structures, in this case you will see that I just create a cube and using any of the primitive for polygons. Add a Boolean and that's it. Okay, you can see A subtract B and you get a perfectly fit hole here. Okay, if you do a rendering, it looks very good. But what happens if you want to modify or if you want to add a hyper nerves? Okay, if I add the hyper nerves on top of the bullion, okay, so you see that Solomon 40 will create not even necessary. Um, surface and the shape is not what I want okay and if I want to further modify this polygon you can see that the surface distribution is not a very good examples for further modification so what I'm going to do is I show you another way to create a perfectly fit polygons that I can modify even though I have have nerves so let's see of this part okay so this is the perfectly fit polygon with um, hyper nerves enables and you will see the perfect hole okay you can see the distribution of the polygon is very um, normalized is better than you edit this polygon than of the previous one okay so let's get start create new file start with the clip okay so the first thing is you need to define which surface you want to create a hole uh, for example I want to create a hole in this surface so um, the first thing is you need to draw a cross. Okay, you need to draw two lines, and the intersection of the line is the center of the hole. Okay, there, slide the curve, goes down to segment. I add two for x, two for y, t for c. So you will see the segment, you perfectly fit of this. Um, surface to create a cross and totally I have four faces here okay so, and the intersection we have a point so this point will be the center of the hole that I'm going to create so go back to the curve press C to make it out of the rows changes the polygon so I can select polygons and edges um, in this case assume a little bit the next step is you need to create a diamond okay of this area okay so diamond is just a four side um, shape that you should have four point okay to create that shape so if you want to create the point you can see the perfect place for the point will be the halfway of each of the edge so I want to I'm going to create a four points each will be halfway of each of the segment or each of the edges so the first select the edge one two three four and then since number 40 you can cut the select the edge using a uh, edge cut so go to the structure you can see the edge cut the edge cut allow you to define an offset if you go to attributes you will see the offset the offsets 50% mean you cut halfway. If you change it, okay, for example, 30 or 70, you will see the point real close to left and or right. So I keep it 50% because I want to cut it halfway and apply. Okay, so nothing happened, but if you change the point mode, you will see that Cinema 40 will cut the edge and add the point to me. Okay, so here I have a four more point. I can create the diamond shape. So to create a diamond shape, I need to draw a new edge. The fast way is using knife. Okay, go to structures, enable knife. Okay, so knife have a several mode. Make sure you are on the line mode. Okay, so you can then draw from one point to the other point. Okay, here 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 and here and then I will create a diamond shape okay what's that for this will be the hole okay but of course you will see I I want a very round 
code, but in this case, if you're using Hibernate, automatically change the title. Okay, so remember this is important concept. If you're using Hibernate, you just need four side to create a perfect cycle. Okay, so what does that mean? So I select the service first. Okay, make sure I enable it. Service. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, I just select the four service and I press I to create an inner extrude. Okay, so I inner extrude to make the edges or to create a border. Okay, and then I can extrude. Okay, to create a hole. Press D again and click and drag. You can create forward or backward. If you put it backward, you already create a hole. Okay, so you see that I have a this shape. Okay, so what happens if I add the hyper nerves? All right, so you can see that if I add the hyper nerves, I already create a hole. Okay, so of course, if you do a rendering, you still have some side here, but you can increase the hyper nerves subdivision at um, setting. Okay, if you increase to three, it's more likely to run. If you increase more, of course, you will see that the shape will be rounder. Okay, so this is the perfect way better than using Boolean to create the hole on the surface. Okay, so for example, I can make it further. Do I in extrude again? Okay, and extrude this. Okay, so I will create a button. Okay, so this is very simple. Okay, I just create a button in this case of using this. Okay, if I increase the divisions, I got a perfect loogie button on the flat surface. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Bye bye.